Hello Cancer, it's Yvonne here to do your weekly read for the 14th to the 20th of October. Thank you for joining me. I'm thrilled that you're on board with me. Thank you for subscribing. Anyone new to the channel, thank you for subscribing. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, I'd love to have you on board. However, if the readings don't resonate, of course you're very welcome to move on. Um, you can check out the other aspects of your natal chart too, so your moon, rising or Venus. However, if they don't, my readings don't resonate with you, you have the opportunity to look for another reader. Okay, Cancer, what's coming out for you? The High Priestess, very nice for Cancer. Um, already one of the more deep and... Um, sensitive in looking signs the high priestess talks about intuition it talks about being able to access our intuition it talks about hidden things and us being able to bring forth what's deep inside us now cancer you are one of the signs that is very good at doing this so i would say to you this week you're going to be very very much in your own space your own energy you are more than likely going to be able to access your intuition more than normal definitely on point for you okay first card out is the knight of wands now the knight of wands talks he's a passionate fiery sign so sometimes he can represent leo aries or sagittarius sometimes he's your energy he's an energy that comes in quick fast hot and heavy passionate um, and he's here to deliver a message to you now it can be a female or a male so the whole night thing doesn't really figure here what it is is it's about someone wanting to talk or text or let someone know how they're feeling here it can also be someone sending you messages around you know something that you're very passionate and driven about now the thing is with the knight of wands he sometimes gets a bit of a reputation of the player or the one night stand because he's hot and heavy and he comes with his wand in hand um so he he does get a little bit of a raw deal however it's also about people finding it very very hard to make commitments to someone so it could be a person that's coming forward with um you know an offer of a date or you know a meeting up or something but what they're actually wanting is the hot and heavy rather than the long term okay so the next card is the two of cups now this is the card of soulmates um we'll see how we go with this but i'm sort of getting a feeling for the story here already now the two of cups talks about equal love talks about love between two people that's equal but it also can talk about partnership or working with someone it could be a soulmate it can be a family member unlike a twin flame of course which is only ever romantic but the soulmate is a relationship that can occur between any two people where they are from the same soul family so they have a connection here um I feel like the Knight of Wands is rushing. <laughs> I love this. I love this work. I was going to say, I have a feeling that Knight of Wands is rushing into offer you love here. Um, and out comes the cup of love. Okay, so story here for someone is that they have been, their intuition, they know this. They know this is about to happen, okay? The um, High Priestess at the beginning here tells me that your intuition is on point. You've either been waiting for someone to come in and offer you love or you've been seeing someone. Maybe you did have a flighty experience with someone, a bit of a one night stand, um, something that was hot and heavy, quick, um, and you've been waiting for this person to come back. So they are now on their way to offer you love. Now, I feel like for some of you, this this first encounter may have been some time ago, but this this coming in of this person now is very different this person has realized their love for you and they want to rush forward and offer you something a little bit more committed um, so here comes this ace of cups and that's the offer of true love um, this is a gift it's um, something beautiful that's been destined by the universe okay then we have the page of wands here so I think this is you going back with some sort of some sort of acceptance here because you've got the wand as well 
and you're sort of shouting to the rooftops in this card. Like you're sort of letting people know how you're feeling. So I think you've been calling this person in. I think you've been manifesting this person. You've called them back. This is really nice, Cancer. You've really wanted this and you've called someone back into your life that you are very passionate and in love with. Okay, because you want stability with them. You want the whole kit and caboodle. You want the house, the home, stability. So what you want with this person is true. It's real. It's a very abundant, real love. Oh, hello. Why do we then have the tower? Now, you will know this. You're, you're knowing this already. I have to work this out. Something here... Somebody coming in to tell you they love you and they want to be with you. This is true love. They want to shout it to the rooftops. They want stability with you. But now we have a tower. So I'm thinking either one of you is already committed to someone else or just hearing this person tell you how they feel has knocked you, has knocked your foundation. It's rocked your world. Okay, what is next? Yeah, you're getting a truth here. Okay. All right. I don't think you expected this person back. I think even though you manifested them, even though you've been calling out to ask for this person to come back, even though you've desperately wanted this person back into your life, now they've come back, you're either so shocked by the fact that they've walked back into your life that everything you didn't understand about manifestation, calling people back in. All of that has hit, has hit home now um, because they've come in to tell you they love you and you weren't expecting it. There's a truth here, a truth from the heart, and it comes right on the Ace of Cups. This person is here to offer you something here, and it's real, it's true, it's beautiful, and it will lead to stability. Um, let me just pull another one. Oh, okay. All right. Making sense now? I think this person broke your heart the first time round. It could be that, or it could be it's got, you are already in a relationship and now you're feeling very, um, because this can be a card of a three-way situation, a third-party situation. So maybe you've, bumped into someone that you had something with a long time ago and they've disclosed their love for you and you still love them but maybe you're in something else that's committed here. Wow, okay. So you've got two stories here. So we've got one story that says you weren't expecting them to come back because you broke their heart or they broke your heart and you never thought they would come back into your life. The other story is that they've come back into your life and you're already committed to someone else and now you have to make this decision to move forward by cutting one or the other out of your life. That's a heavy thing. Okay, you're going to have to move away from one. So either you're moving away from the person that you're already committed to or you're moving away from this love that's been offered. This is your choice here because you've got a new start either way. So if you choose to stay where you are, you will have a new start in love with the person that you're currently with. Like it's almost like you feel that you need to still work on your relationship. However, for some of you, this is walking away to the new person because this is what you've wanted. It's your desire. So whatever it is, yeah, it's stability. This is what you want. And the Four of Wands is here too. So even though this has really rocked your world, changed your ideas, change things around. I feel like a lot of you are walking away from something to go to this new person or this returned person. Wow. It's going to knock your roll. It, it just turns your world upside down when they come in with this new cancer. I don't think any well, you're expecting it now because I'm telling you about it, but I think a lot of people have already anticipated this energy. I think a lot of people can feel it around them already with the eye priestess. They know something is going to happen, that's for sure. But I just don't think that it's truly manifested in their heads. Okay. 
can I say to you, the card that's come out is the card of Rochelle. And Rochelle says, as you honour and follow the guidance of your heart, prosperity is coming to you more. As you follow the guidance of your heart. I do think a lot of you are walking away from existing relationships, Cancer, in order to take love. Thank you.